What's up guys, it's Barrett. I got a drum lesson for you today. And today is a song one of my drum students actually showed me uh, from a drummer, Yosef Days. Yosef Days. This dude is crazy, man. He comes from like the same sort of genre and like this modern jazz kind of drum and bass and drums anyways, style. Kind of like Nate Smith, JD Beck. They all have their own vibes, but man, they're all kind of doing that same like... You know, crazy sticking, sort of weird, modern jazz that's so far away from this, it's crazy, but it's still considered jazz, which is funny, you know? I think that's interesting. So today we're going to learn the groove from the song Istanbul. Let's check it out. So I'm not going to play it at the same tempo as he does because uh, I can't. <laughs> I'll play it slower though. So let's break that one down. Essentially, you're doing threes on the hat. What I like to call open hi-hat threes. So you play three notes. You kind of get used to playing threes. By the way, this drum lesson is obviously for more advanced. All right. More advanced players. So you practice triples, threes. And he actually plays a really closed hand. So maybe it's better to play it more close to hand. I don't know. But tickets, tickets. So the last note is open. And then the other part of the hand pattern goes together. Hi-hat, snare. And then a double. ta 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 This isn't like a rudiment. But, you know, together, singles, doubles. So you can kind of call that part a paradiddle diddle, I suppose. Well, I don't suppose it. it is a paradiddle diddle. But if you want cross, okay, so. And then that, that hand pattern repeats throughout the whole thing, which is what still sort of makes this jazz, because, you know, in jazz, you have your, your stable sort of hand pattern, just like in anything in drumming. But this is just a different kind of stable hand pattern. Tick it, 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 So it's essentially ticket this ticket this and that. So I really recommend just practicing that hand pattern for a while, man. Maybe even without the opens, right? Just just over and again, over and over again, you know. And but when you are ready to put the bases and the open hi hats in there, which is the feet, right? Uh, you put a bass on the first two threes, boom, boom. So I mean the first downbeat of each three, one the end, two the end. Right. Mm. Mm. Notice I'm taking the opens out because I'm trying to do it one foot at a time, but the open would be obviously on the third. Like that. Then pot stops. That's the main theme really. Right? So So what's really cool is it's a two bar loop. And the first bar is the boom. But the second bar, he doesn't play a bass drum on one, which is really cool, actually. It just starts out with the threes again. And then, ta, ta, ba, ba, ta, um, ba, um, ba, ba. And sometimes he does like a double right there. I guess he's copying the, that would be my guess. So sometimes he does, he does different stuff, but essentially the main two loop pattern is, Ah, trying to play it as fast as he does. 